on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. What the fuck, man? Why'd you do that? It's like, well, I didn't mean to push him. Like, oh, shit, shit. Well, wait, where are we gonna... What? Uh, uh, we gotta tell someone. We at least gotta tell us... Koski. What are you gonna tell his mom? Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Inko. I accidentally killed your son. I pushed him. And... Now he's gone. Forget being a hero. You're going to be nothing more than a villain. What, what, what do you guys think? We tell no one. But Deku was... Yes, yeah, so he will be missed. Guys, I'm still here. Guys? Anyone? They think I'm dead? Did, did they really just leave me here? As Izuku, he sees a bright light. Him thinking, oh my god, I am gonna die. <sighs> you need to use your voice. Hmm. Your name is Izuku, isn't it? Wait, who said? Fear not. I can help you. Um. Uh, but who are you? I am known by many names, but one um, I am most known by is Optimus Prime, and I need your help. Really? Yes. Yes, I do. You see... Your world will soon become entangled in a war. And you will need allies. But I... Where are you? Alas, me and my fellow Autobots perished. How? Wait, Autobots? Well, that will explain your voice. Our ship crashed. There are no survivors, as far as I can tell. Only their souls wander. To who they may occupy now. Wait, uh, wait, wait, you mean they're already spread out? Yes. Wait, does that mean you're... The bright light you see is not me. It's the way out. I'm in your head. Uh. <clears throat> Excuse me? I can grant you the abilities that you require to be a hero, if you so wish. All that I ask is that you use this power for good to protect not only Japan, but the world and all others like it. 
from the threat of the Decepticons. Uh, wait, if I accept this, what, what's going to happen to you? I will become one with you. Do not worry, for I shall be with you. However, my actions will be yours to decide. Well, do you accept? Izuku himself? What? The hell? Uh, but I, um, I guess I accept? Very well. I shall unlock all the knowledge of what I've acquired in my many years and gift it to you. Wait, wait! You can't do all that at once or else I'm gonna lose my mind. What? Yeah, I mean... Autobots, Decepticons, ship, crash, so you're not even from this planet? No. Okay, what, wait, will you still be able to talk to me? Perhaps. Uh, okay, how about this? We'll do the whole thing, but instead of, uh, you just... Bombarded me with your memories and knowledge. Whenever we come across something that I may need help with, maybe then you could chime in, get some input, you know? Because this is all still very weird to me. I'm only 10 years old. Hmm. I see no problem with that. <sighs> Seriously, I never thought an automaton would have soul. Hmm. There is a lot you do not know, but now that you've accepted, I shall begin the process. Izuku blacking out. Ems waking up hours later. Just realized, holy crap, wait, where's the light? His eyes flashing blue. Him, what? I, I have flashlights in my eyes. Of course. Oh, oh, right. Optimus. Ah, what else can I do? Well, we do. Hmm. Okay. While I did uh, have some trouble combining with an organic being, it seems as though I, you had some sort of ge genetic structure that I could technically imprint myself upon. From gathering your memories, or what you do to seem to have done research on it would be called the quirk gene wait so you grafted yourself correct they can be as an artificial intelligence or AI someone to grant you knowledge guidance all the like especially when you come across any cybertronian technology that you or anyone else from your planet definitely would not recognize. Wow. Indeed. So, maybe return home. Oh, this is gonna be weird. As soon as Zugu does arrive back, Inko tackles him into a hug. 
wondering, where the hell have you been, boy? Well, she doesn't say that, but her, uh, her words, or at least actions, have been, came, came clear. <laughs> he says, I fell and got knocked down. Are, are you sure? Because Kaski said, <laughs> what? I, uh, um, do you not wish to tell her the truth? What do I tell her? What, what who are you talking to? Crap, um, if you wish to talk to me, you don't have to do it out loud. Just use your thoughts. Uh, right, uh, well, who are you talking, what? Uh, how do I tell her that my old best friend pushed me, nearly killed me, and I understand. Hmm. Perhaps there could be an alternative solution. What do you mean? Just tell her uh, you were playing. Me lie? Do you prefer another method? I don't know. I don't really like keeping secrets and... Heck, I want to tell Mom about you. She would possibly think that you were in need of some... professional help. That's fair. Unless I have proof. Oh well. As Zuku, he's looking up at Inko, seeing the tears in her eyes. What? what who are you talking to? Why won't you answer me? <sighs> Mom, here's what actually happened. Izuku reluctantly telling her the truth, leaving out the part about Optimus and the reincarnation and yada yada yada, but still, Inko is pissed. And when it comes to Miski and the parents of those other boys, Grounded does not begin to cover the amount of trouble and punishment they are in. But Kaski, in the back of his mind, is actually relieved that Izuku's a lie. The only thing is, uh, he doesn't like being in trouble, but still, it's better than uh, his ex-best friend being killed by his hand. So, silver lining. <sighs> so, uh, Optimus... Yes. Can you tell me about Cybertron? That is a rather long story, are you certain? I'm all ears. Izuku hearing about the history of Cybertron as well as the fact that, like, wait a minute! Are you, are you, are you sure the Decepticons are the bad guys? Well, yes. What? Why, why would you assume otherwise? Think of it like this: the Megatron. He was Gladiator, correct? Yes. He didn't even have a name. A lot of the other Gladiators were. In some case, we will consider the poorer uh, Cybertronians didn't have names. Indeed. So all he all he really wanted was for the ones responsible for the suffering to pretty much be held accountable. I mean, of course they uh, went with your idea. They, they got off pretty much scot free. They just get, had to step down from their perches. 
Well, with Megatron, he he wanted them punished for all the wrong he and the others have been dealt. And from what I hear, you guys used to be friends. If anything, you see, like you guys just there was a misunderstanding in translation. Though yes, your ways seem a lot more uh, calm. His are not completely unjustified. I mean, it seems like he read really he should have uh, been heard out more. Plus, were you being high born while he was pretty much nothing to them? Did he even really get to speak? Or did they even really listen to him? Hmm. I never considered that. Yeah. You've really... This is a lot to really think about. You know what, Optimus? I... I think we should look for your body. What? Well, you said that uh, your ship crashed and whatnot. Well, if you found it, do you, do you think uh, we may be able to find your body as well? well what are you saying? Well, it's not that I don't like you in my head. I mean, it's been like two months. It's just that, don't you miss your old body? Yes. So are you offering? <sighs> I'm saying if we do end up finding it, do you think you'll be able to find a way to, you know, But, you just got used to this. It's fine. <sighs> if anything, being able to turn to steel, communicate with, at least listen to machines as well as reworking them, that's, that's pretty cool and all, but I do want to consider your feelings as well. Huh. I suppose we could try having a type of, hmm, I know just a thing, but we will need to visit this thing called a junkyard. Why? We're going to need to build a way to signal the ship to reactivate, or at the very least to Hmm. Make it easier to find it. For all we know, it could actually lead the other Autobots to that same location. But what about the Decepticons? Hmm. They have their own ship. Where they are, I... I do not know. Hmm. This could be problematic if we do run into them. Do do you know anything that could protect us from? Yes, actually. But at the very least, you you should get some sleep. Tomorrow we begin our crusade to recover my body as well as the ship. Great. As soon as Zuku heads to the junkyard, he notices. It's like, whoa, there's a lot of stuff that gets thrown away here. Yes. Some of these. Huh. 
Some of these objects look like they are in pretty good condition. Why would one... It is an explosion, and you should know who causes it. Damn it, it's still not working. Uh, who's there? Huh? Oh, visitors. Wait. What are you doing in the junkyard? Oh, what are you doing in the junkyard? I'm trying to build my babies. What? My inventions. Duh.